You're driving along, everything seems fine, then suddenly, your car won't accelerate. You press the gas, but it's like the engine isn't listening. Maybe it sputters, maybe it just rolls along without power, but either way, you're stuck. And let me tell you, this isn't just frustrating. It can be dangerous. I've seen this problem more times than I can count, and the good news is, it usually comes down to a few common issues. Figuring out what's wrong is the first step to getting back on the road. So let's break it down and find the fix. Fuel delivery issues. If your engine isn't getting enough fuel, it's not going anywhere. A clogged fuel filter, a weak fuel pump, or dirty injectors can choke the system, leaving you with sluggish acceleration or no power at all. Over time, grime builds up, especially if you're in the habit of running the tank low. Think of a fuel filter like a coffee filter. If it's clogged, nothing gets through. Keeping the fuel system clean and well-maintained can save you from frustrating breakdowns when you need power the most. Throttle problems. Modern cars rely on electronic throttle bodies instead of the old cable-driven systems. While they're more precise, they're not immune to problems. These throttle bodies can stick, fail, or send incorrect signals, leaving your engine confused about how much power you actually need. If the throttle position sensor, TPS, goes bad, the car won't know how much gas you're asking for, and that can lead to sluggish acceleration or even a complete loss of power. In some cases, the engine enters limp mode, where performance is severely limited, kind of like trying to run with your shoelaces tied together. Transmission trouble. If you press the gas and the engine roars but the car barely moves, chances are the transmission is the culprit. Low fluid levels, slipping gears, or a failing torque converter can all keep power from reaching the wheels. When the transmission starts acting up, it's not something you want to ignore. Repairs can get pricey fast. Airflow restrictions. An engine needs air just like we do, and if it's not getting the right amount, things go downhill fast. A clogged air filter or a faulty mass airflow sensor can throw off the air fuel mix, making the engine hesitate, sputter, or even lose power completely. It's like trying to run full speed while breathing through a straw, frustrating, inefficient, and bound to slow you down. Keeping those components clean and in good shape can make all the difference in how your car performs. Ignition problems. When spark plugs, ignition coils, or the crankshaft position sensor start failing, your engine won't run like it should. You might notice misfires, hesitation, or stuttering before the car stops accelerating altogether. These parts wear out over time, and when they do, they can cause serious performance issues. Ignoring them will only make things worse, so replacing them when needed keeps your engine running smooth and responsive. If your car feels sluggish or unpredictable, it's worth checking these components before the problem gets worse. Computer or sensor errors. Modern cars rely on sensors to keep everything running smoothly, but when one starts sending bad data, the onboard computer can get confused. Instead of risking damage, the system plays it safe by limiting power, leaving you struggling to accelerate. Whether it's the mass airflow sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor, throttle position sensor, or oxygen sensor, a faulty reading can trick the engine into thinking something's wrong. When that happens, the car might enter a protective mode, cutting power even when you need it most. If your car suddenly feels sluggish, scanning for trouble codes is the best way to figure out which sensor is causing the issue. How to fix it? Don't start guessing. Get a diagnostic scan first. Even a basic OBD2 scanner can point you in the right direction. Look for trouble codes related to the throttle, fuel system, or transmission. If fuel delivery is the issue, check or replace the fuel filter and run a pressure test on the pump. Cleaning the injectors might help, but if the pump's failing, it'll need replacing. Throttle problems? Cleaning the throttle body can make a big difference. If that doesn't fix it, the throttle position sensor or the entire throttle body might need swapping. For transmission trouble, check the fluid level and condition. Burnt or low fluid is a bad sign. If the transmission is slipping, it's time to visit a shop and maybe brace for a hefty bill. If airflow is the culprit, replace the air filter and clean the MAF sensor with proper cleaner. A faulty MAF or MAP sensor is usually an easy fix. Ignition issues? Inspect the spark plugs and coils. If they're burnt, oily, or worn, replace them. A fresh ignition system can bring new life to a sluggish engine. And if the car's stuck in limp mode, resetting the ECU after repairs might help. But remember, limp mode is a symptom, not the root cause. You can find more details on diagnosing OBD2 codes.